Hello everyone, I am Rajiv and welcome back to Code Street. Today I am going to show you a quick and easy way to build a RAG application with DeepSeq R1, Olama and Semantic Kernel. In this video, we are going to take basic expense manager scenario like uh, tracking daily spending and let AI answer your questions like how much did I spend on a coffee, what is the total expense amount like this and AI is going to answer your questions. If you have ever wondered how to combine your own data with AI to get instant insights, this is a perfect place to start. Let's dive in. So before getting started, make sure you are running Olama and also you have DeepSeq R1 model installed on your machine. So you can see for me it's running and the same can be validated using the command line. And here you need to drive this. Okay. So you can see I have already installed this R1 1.5 billion parameters. If you have not watched my previous video where I have explained each and everything about how to get started with DeepSeq R1 along with Olama. Okay. So just do follow if not. And if you're already running, then uh, we are good for the next step. So let's create the project. So again, I'm going to create the console application and let's let's see drag. Okay, uh, the next and create. Let me just close this. So the first step is to download the NuGet packages. Okay, so let's come here, then manage NuGet packages. And here we need to install semantic kernel. Then next one is kernel memory dot core. Okay. Install. And the third one is kernel memory dot AI dot. Yeah, this one we need to install. Now let's come here and start writing. So first let's import the namespaces and then let's create a config new olama config and here let's define the endpoint and you know olama is running on port 11434 and the same we can just verify so you can see olama is running Okay, perfect. Now let's write the same. Equal host. Even four, three, four. Okay, the next one is we need to pass the text model. Deep seek. Okay, so deep seek hyphen R1 colon 1.5 billion. Okay, uh, make sure you are typing correctly. Okay, because if you miss, then you might get some error. And here we can pass some max token. So there is a default value which is 131072. So the same I'm passing 131072. And then we need to have here embedding model. Okay, so let's do this new again the same. Let me just copy this because we are going to use the same. Okay, for the both. And uh, here max token we can provide like uh, 2048. Okay, that's fine. Now let's create a memory. Okay, so in the same memory we are going to embed our uh, document. Okay, so let's create the memory here. So new kernel memory builder and then with Olama text generation config then dot with llama text embedding generation both we needed and fee and here we will be using serverless okay memory serverless so basically there is two type one is serverless one is a web client so we are not going to create web client for now use memory serverless now let's add document to the memory so for that actually i have created this well, let me just show you this is a small uh, budget kind of thing okay so you can see i have added all the dates here and the categories and the amount so the same basically we are going to use okay let me add into the memory memory dot 
sync and buzzet dot txt here we need to pass document id okay so this is good for the keeping the references and let's say doc001 let me add some color here and here i'm writing console dot right line please wait just uh nice masses okay and here again we can do console dot reset color fine okay uh now next one is basically again let me just write some color and here we can see like once document is loaded then we can print like uh we are i mean we are ready okay model is ready something we can print here model is ready to take questions before that let me just run and so that uh, i need to put this file into the bin folder okay so let me just copy this and uh, let me run that so that bin folder will be created that's fine i know so let's come here open folder in file bin debug dot net 9 okay here i'm just uh, putting so the same you can do and you can even load from the other path also but that i'm not giving here so just for uh, easier uh, now we are good now let's and while wait memory dot is document ready async and here uh, document id i can just pass so that it will ensure that once it's in ready state then we are good for taking the questions so here again let me just change the color for round color equals to console color dot let's say hello then console dot right line and uh, ask questions okay new line and again console dot reset color now uh let's take input and equals console dot read line uh, answer equals to await memory dot pass the sync and here you need to pass the question it's uh, very simple now we can print like console dot write line answer dot result Okay. so this should be fine but again after that if you want to as a proper rag application we can just refer the source like uh, from which file and what are the source from getting the answer so for that let's uh, write the for each loop and do it to proper so console dot write line and let me just make again some foreground color here so instead of halo let me just make it as uh, blue that's fine now all for each and var x in answer dot relevant sources okay we need to loop that console dot right line and i can write like and finally here again let me reset the color we are good let me just run this okay this nice message and we got some error so error is no such host is non local host to 11434 uh what the spelling is incorrect let me just run perfect so it's ready for taking the questions so let me just ask here how much i spent on coffee let me just open that file also here so that we can easily refer what it's giving us let me just come here and how much i spent uh let me write like total on coffee. let's see perfect so this part you can see like this thinking part okay always comes with deep seek uh, but you can see the other part is like uh, it's the user spent a total of 8.25 dollar on coffee 
so i think that's the correct because 3.75 and 4.50 that sum will come okay so let's not doubt on calculation let me ask another question which day did i spend the most money overall okay so now let's see oh february 14 2025 okay this day so here you can see uh this all uh it's saying oh february okay for and rent 800 dollar okay that's why so let me come here and see yes that's correct the rent uh, is the highest let me ask again the which day i spend the least money overall so yeah fab 16 and that day i spent only 40 dollar so now let's come to the next section and add some pdf and uh, check on that basically so let me just put this into that folder micro python docs and uh here okay so let me just stop and the file name i need to give exactly okay the file name we can add even more like uh, we can add one more document along with that we can do this this way also like dot pdf and this one let's make it as a two and also uh, here this since this document is uh, 4 mb larger in size so let me just check with this one if uh, both are loaded then we can ask questions okay so let me run now it will take some time because it has like uh, now two document one has a 4 mb of a space so let's wait also since we are using 1.5 billion parameters so that might be a reason it's taking more time okay now we got so let me ask uh, what is micro python okay let's wait okay perfect now you can see the source it has been taken from the micropython docs.pdf okay and here it's thinking and the things end here and now it's replying so it's working perfectly fine so that's all for today hope you like the video if you really like then consider subscribing and sharing and also i'm going to upload this complete project including the text file and pdf on my buy me coffee page so you can go and download from there so thanks for watching we'll see in the next video